Hi, my name is Lisa Sandloss. In this video, I will be demonstrating key skills from Limon and Graham modern dance techniques. I will be highlighting these skills in three particular standing center exercises, plies, swings, and high brushes with lunges. This is my do list, the things I want to be doing as I complete the exercises in order to refine my technical skill. One, yield into the floor and push away from gravity. Two, trace arc-like movements in the space with the periphery of the body, fingers, toes, top of the head. Three, use a far-reach kinesphere but still connect to the body center or the core. Four, use the quality of fall and rebound. Five, maintain dynamic alignment throughout all of the exercises. So in this first exercise, the plies, I begin by yielding into the floor with my feet and then pushing away from the floor with my legs. I add in the movement of the arms by tracing an arc-like pathway with my fingertips far away from my body using a far-reach kinesphere. Here I go into high lift and I'm keeping a connection to my core by still engaging the muscles of my abdomen and I begin the series again in second position with yield and push. Contraction initiates the movement from the core, drawing up the spine and up and out through the top of my head for a real dynamic alignment here. High lift once again, keeping that core connection as I expand outwards into the far reach kinesphere and bring the top of my head up to finish in first position. This next one is the swing exercise, which is really based on the technical concept of fall and rebound from the Limon technique. So here I'm swinging my arms forward and back and then circling them around. You can see I'm using that peripheral reach of the fingertips still and a far reach kinesphere. I'm also yielding and pushing with my legs, working gravity here. There's a real full extension and here I need to connect with my core or I will lose my balance in that turn. This third and last exercise is high brushes with lunges. This exercise also highlights fall and rebound, but you can see how I need to yield into gravity and then that allows me to push away from the floor with my foot. I'm also reaching far away with my fingers and toes. I'm lifting through the top of my head for dynamic alignment through the spine once again. And pushing, yielding and pushing into the balls of my feet, lengthening my legs and reaching through the top of my head to finish. Creating the video made me more aware of my body and that was an experience that was positive in the sense that I felt more attuned to my movements and in some ways more alive. I also experienced it as somewhat negative, though, because like most dancers, I am trained to be self-critical. It is a way of refining one's movement, but it can also be disappointing when you see yourself on video. Nevertheless, I think it is a very valuable exercise for dancers to videotape themselves in order to enhance their awareness of how they appear to others. After all, dance is a performing art and we strive to communicate with audience members through a visual image of our bodies moving in space. So a question I will be pondering after making this video is, to what degree do the sensations I have while dancing, such as yielding and pushing or connecting to my core, really translate into the visual image I intend to create? Thank you for watching my video. I learned a lot by making it, and I hope you learned a lot too.